the characteristic of a good Muslim. As Muslims, we should have the best character because the Prophet ﷺ said, Nothing is heavy upon the scale, scale of the believer on the day of judgment than his good character. So let us look at a good trait that a Muslim should strive to have. The first characteristic is truthfulness. The Prophet ﷺ said, You must be truthful. Verily, verily, truthfulness leads to righteousness, and righteousness leads to paradise. A man continues to be truthful and encourages honesty until he is recorded with Allah as truthful. And beware of falsehood. Verily, falsehood leads to wickedness, and wickedness leads to the hellfire. A man continues to tell lies and encourages falsehood until he is recorded with Allah as a liar. So a Muslim should never lie. And, sh and, he and he should always try to be honest if he wants to enter Jannah. The second characteristic is that a Muslim should perform deeds with quality, excellence and perfection. If you are a teacher, be the best teacher. If you are a student, to be the best student. If you are helping someone, be the best helper. That is why Muslims strive to be the best servant of Allah. By doing good deeds in the most perfect way. The third characteristic is that a Muslim should take care of her, his... <laughs> a Muslim should take care of his or her trusts, also known as a man. As Allah says in Surah Mu'minun, the believers are those who are true to their trust and promises. It is a trait of hypocrite to break their trust and promises. The fourth characteristic is hikmah or wisdom. When news come to a Muslim, he should be wise first and investigate before spreading it around. Allah says in Surah Nisa, and when they hear news of security or fear, they publicize it. Had they referred it to the messenger or the <coughs> their authorities, those with sound judgment among them w would have validated it. The last characteristic is that a Muslim should always be kind to others by respecting them and treating them how they would like to be treated. Those Muslims who harm and hurt the Muslims. Allah, then Allah gives them a severe warning in Surah Ahsab. Allah says, As for those who abuse believing men and women, unjustifiably, they will definitely bear the guilt of slander and a clear sin.